Hello, my lovelies. How the hell are you? I hope you're having a fabulous fucking day. You have landed on Amber Lalana. That is me. I am she, and I am the hippie witch. So thank you for landing here. And if you like, hit subscribe, hit share, hit like. What else do you need to hit? Uh, I don't know. You can ring my bell. You could do that. <laughs> So it's been a little while since I've given a little bit of an update of health and my health and my cancer and what I'm doing and what the fuck is going on and where my treatments are and all that fucking good shit. So, um, yeah, the last update I did was, um, after my first surgery, before my second surgery, and I've been giving updates on lives here and there and, you know, briefly, but, um, not an actual video to let you know what the fuck's going on. So... I figured it's time. It's overdue, maybe. Whatever. So cheers. Smoke with me, babies. Okay, so trying to remember what the hell I even said on the last video and the last update that I gave you is, and what I've said in between, who knows. So I had my first surgery on April 10th. And I had my second surgery on April 28th. They had to go back in because I had margins on my left breast that needed to be taken out as well. So um, I am all healed up and doing absolutely fucking fantastic. I did start chemo again. Now I know you guys are like, what the fuck? Chemo? I thought you were done with chemo. Well, goddamn, I thought I was done too. But turns out I'm not. Um, the HER2 positive cancer that was on my right side because of that hormonal consistency of the cancer where hormones actually cause the cancer to grow um i have to continue a chemotherapy treatment uh for the duration of an entire year so from start to finish it has to be a year so i started last november which means that i'm going until uh, my last chemo treatment if everything goes as scheduled is going to be december 6th so I am going to be um, doing chemo every three weeks um, until then. Now, a little bit on that chemo, um, it, I am actually doing, and I'm going to do a completely different video for this because it's actually really quite interesting. Um, I'm taking a new chemo drug. I'm in a clinical trial, if you will. Um, uh, it's called Katsyla, uh, K A D. C-Y-L-A, I believe. So it is a new drug and it is specifically for hormone positive, um, HER2 positive uh, uh, cancers. Um, generally, specifically for, obviously, breast cancer as well. So, so I am doing chemo. Um, I am doing it every three weeks, just like I was before. And the nice thing about this Ketsyla chemo is that, obviously, with my hair growing back, it doesn't give me all of the icky, nasty side effects like the loss of hair and the super duper nausea and can't eat and can't, you know. So all those horrible side effects that normal chemotherapy generally gives you, Ketsyla actually is significantly less, um, and it doesn't damage your good cells. Um, it really only, tr I mean, it does hurt the good cells, but it doesn't um, hurt them like the other chemo. Um, and it really tries to hone in on the, um, the hormone positive, positive, positive cancer cells. So, um, again, I'm going to do another complete video on Ketsyla because, again, I think it's very interesting. It is a new drug, a new chemo drug. Um, I'm on a clinical trial, so more on that later. Um, I did have to obviously be approved for this clin clinical trial and how I was able to take this drug for the clinical trial is that I did have some cancer left in some areas after surgery. So that's what um, made me um, able to, to do this um, because the lymph nodes on the right side, the three that were taken out, there was one that was still had cancer in it. Um, so because of that, I am able to try this kid, this new Ked Sila. All right, moving on. Pew, 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 pew. What's next? After my chemo started, I went to um, see my post-op, my surgery, my surgeon for my post-op visit. And I have 
cords, lymphedema cords, or otherwise known as, I wrote it down, I'm also going to do a new video on this, auxiliary web syndrome. So I'm going to totally, I'm going to do a video completely on this as well, because this is another thing that's really quite interesting. I'm going to go into it briefly, and I have gone into this briefly on some lives, but basically um, it's where you're, because of the lymph nodes that were uh, taken out and or disturbed, um, I have issues, we'll say until I get to the other video. Um, I have issues and I have buildups, so cords are, um, the cords are basically stiffened uh, lymph vessels that need to be massaged out and broken. Um, they kind of suck, not gonna lie. So I'm going through therapy once a week um, for that, lymphedema therapy. Um, that will be going for the next three to four weeks, four to five weeks, I don't know. I think my last one is the very last, Friday or Thursday of July. So I'm going to be doing that while I'm doing radiation. And then last but not least, we just run into radiation, um, segue into radiation there. Um, so I started radiation. I had all my appointments and they got all my x-rays and all that good stuff. Um, I started radiation. My first actual treatment was yesterday. Um, I go today for my second. I go every single day, Monday through Friday, um, for five, five and a half weeks about. Um, they basically are going to radiate here where my lymph nodes were on either side, as well as here where my boobies are, um, where the breast cancer was on either side as well. Um, so yeah, Monday through Friday, uh, they took all kinds of x-rays and stuff of me on Monday this week. Um, and yeah, I had my first radiation yesterday and, uh, my last radiation treatment will be July, the, the, the Tuesday, first Tuesday in July. So basically after the first Tuesday in July, I'm going to be like, I'm not going to be home free because I still have my chemo, but I'm not going to be doing things quite as often because radiation is every day. Therapy is once a week. And that's, to be honest with you, a lot of running around <laughs> that I'm not exactly used to, especially being cooped up in the house for six fucking months. Um, but yeah. So that is my update. Um, tried to make it as quick as possible and to the point as possible. If there are any questions at all whatsoever, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments below. I love your questions and I am more than happy to answer them. Um, if you have any other video ideas that you'd like me to go ahead and do in regards to cancer, cancer treatment, or anything that I went through, um, please also write those in the comments below. I am more than happy to share my experience and um, trying to think of videos that you guys may want to see or people out there may want to see in regards to um, knowledge base, research, and just figuring out what the fuck it does to whether it's people you love or you yourself are going through it. So um, yeah, let me know. I love you guys and I'm so glad you watched and I'm so glad you got this far. Like I said in the beginning, like, subscribe, share, and ring my bell, baby. <laughs> Much love, peace. Let's have one more hit to go, shall we? One to go. One for the road.